Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you all real quick how to get 0ms on controller. As you guys can see, I'm playing wired. This video is for the people who play wired like directly to their PC and they don't use DS4 Windows. In this video, I'm going to use and show DS4 Windows just to show the readings. I didn't do this in the last video, but this video is going to be a lot more specific for the people who don't use DS4. A lot of people use DS4 wired. They get like a double input, which honestly, if you get that, I promise you, you'll be better off chilling without DS4 Windows. Because playing wired with 0ms, honestly, is better than playing Bluetooth, which I played for about a year. Because it's inconsistent. The controller probably will disconnect a lot. It's just a bunch of problems. Honestly, I suggest playing wired. Get a good wire that can hold your controller like this. I don't have the best wire, but it's a good-ass wire, as you guys can see. It's not fucking, you know what I mean? It's not glued in. Just get a wire that's good, that's stable, can stay in your controller. Simple. So as you guys can see on the screen, it says three point whatever right now. But when I overclock it in a second, you guys will see that it will go down to 0 0.5 ms, depending on you guys' wire or whatever PC, wherever you plug it. Plug it into a blue USB slot, whatever. Do what you gotta do. From what I heard. The blue USB slots give less delay, but I don't know. So first link in the description. First thing you guys want to do, go to the first link in the description. This is a completely safe website. It's good. It's chilling. Thousands of people have been on it. Thousands of people have been here to download this. First thing you want to do is go to this third link right here. Do not click on the FN zip. Click on this zip right here. Click this. Then on the right, click download. After it downloads, click. I'm gonna click show in folder just to show you guys real quick. When you click on it, after you click on it, click extract. And then on your guys' screen, click extract all. I already have a WinZip installed, but for the people who don't have a WinZip, like WinZip, Zip 74, 64, whatever it is, uh, WinRAR, I suggest WinRAR. I just got this and uh, just open the file. And after you open the file, Exit this out. Go to driver and then go to setup.exe. Do not click on xsx64exe. Do not click that. And then when you're here, as you guys can see, it says mice. Click on HIDs. And then when you go here, this is where you have to look for your controller. Mine's right here. It says wireless controller. And then for you guys, yes, it will say no default in five. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you click on this section right here where it says it wireless controller and click install service click yes on your screen mine is already like auto doing it because the way I have it's my PC set up but for you guys just click yes on your screen click a thousand right here down here click install service you have to do it one by one and then click this check in the box right here filter on device and then click install service and after you're done all you have to do is literally unplug and then replug your controller in and then after you guys do that, you guys can literally, to make it look more clean, click back on HIDs and then go to WIS HES US. You, you, whatever the fuck that shit says, bro. You just click on that HID USBF. Yeah, click on that just to make it look more clean. You don't need this running at all, so this doesn't matter. You can X all this out as long as it says yes, a thousand and what did it say, one. And then after you go back, you can X all of this out. As you guys see on DS4 Windows, the readings of my controller now are 0.5. The reason why it's going up and down is because the wire. I, I, I don't get why it does that, but it's not going to stay one solid number. But it's better than Bluetooth, and it's, you just overclocked your controller. It's that simple. Like I said, I don't suggest using DS4. I suggest if you're uh, new to this, honestly playing raw on your controller, you don't really need anti-micro or... DS4, you don't need either or, you can honestly play raw on your controller after you do this because this literally, like, now you have zero MS on your controller. Some games may still feel delayed, that's where anti micro comes in, and you can adjust your stick dead zone and you can make your buttons a little faster. But uh, that's where anti micro comes in, like I said. DS4 it has a bunch of problems with a lot of people's wired and they get double inputs. So I don't suggest this, I was only using this to show the readings and show the proof that it actually improved the controller. Which a lot of people didn't do in explaining these type of videos, which I made sure I did, so you guys would be 
believe what you see and you understand that this shit actually works and you can do it yourself. But uh, this is very simple. Be sure to share this video with your controller friends or whatever in case they need help with overclocking their controller. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, check me out on Twitch. I have the first link in the uh, links in the description. And uh, I stream over there on Twitch on every day. If you have any questions or comment any question below, and I'll answer your questions below. I'll answer as much as I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. And peace out. That's how to overclock your.